Bricksitch Brickley here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you an exclusive look at my entire Lego The Lord of the Rings collection over here. So we're gonna start over here with Bag End, and this is actually a Hobbit set, and I customize it with the instruction of Lego Mock Lock, added a lot of details myself. But the set of the Lord of the Rings trilogy over here is Gandalf arrives, as you can see. Of course, we have Gandalf with Frodo over there. Pretty nice set back in the day to get these minifigures very cheaply. And over here is my expensive bag. And we're going to take a look at the interior and exterior, of course. So we got the superly awesome detailed garden. And of course, of course, all the flowers and stove over there. And the stove actually... Over here is the poly bag, which I added. And all these flowers and Bilbo Baggins, of course, over here. I still need to get older Bilbo Baggins in the future. So we're gonna do that a little uh, down the lane. And over here, as you can see, the big tree on top of the bag. And it's a pretty nice custom set, as you can see. And then if we're gonna look at the interior, the roof actually is a total separate piece which you can just lift off so over here we got the entry and of course uh, well the hallway with all of the, a lot of weapons of the dwarves and such and a little cabinet over here and a chest and then of course the nice archways in the hobbit house and we get the, the, the company of thorin oakenshield over here dining I try to set up all the figures as accurate as possible to the Hobbit movie. So I really uh, pause the movie and such and just try to set them up over here with all of the food and drinks. And over here we got Bilbo's writing room with, of course, his table over here with some fish. Where uh, Dwalin uh, eats his fish and bread and such. That's pretty fun. A funny scene. And a little stove over here with a teapot. Nicely detailed. And then over here on the far left, we got Bilbo's bedroom with another painting over here. We can put your sticker. I don't have stickers in this build, but I'm going to get some soon. Got this nice window over here. Then next to the bedroom, we got, of course, Bilbo's storeroom with a lot of greens and some uh, food and such bread. Awesome storeroom. So pretty happy I got this entire bag and it really looks good. And you can just reattach the roof. I'm gonna just put it on here and let it lay loose. So as you can see, this is the entirety of bag end of Lego Mock Lock, and I'm pretty happy with it. And now we're gonna move on to another set. As you can see over here, we got the ring raids, Nazgul, and of course, Weather Top. As you can see here, we got Strider, AKA Aragorn over here fighting the Nazgul. And Nazgul is also getting burnt over here, just fleeing away. Again, we get Frodo getting stabbed by the Morgul blade over here. And some Nazgul fighting Aragorn. And Aragorn, actually, I customized him a little bit. So as you can see, he has a cape and a quiver on his back. So try to really make him look like a, well, scavenger a hunter or something. And we got the leftover horses over here with that little bill which came with this set. And then uh, I actually have all nine of the ring raids. So I got the nine from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. That's just insane. They were really cheap back in the day uh, with a local seller. I believe I got each one for around, let's say, five to seven dollars or something. So that's a long while ago, but I'm pretty happy that I got them. Uh, if we're going to uh, be in hindsight. And then over here, we got, of course, the Rivendell set with uh, Gimli trying to destroy the ring in uh, Rage. And then Legolas telling him it isn't really that, well, smart to do. Because, yes, he's going to get smacked off. And, yeah, I think that this function really is cool. I'm almost an adult and I still love the function. So you can clearly see that <laughs> this set really is loved. And yeah, pretty happy with this set. And then we're going to move on to the other part of Rivendell over here. You can see my Lord Elrond over here in battle armor from the Second Age, I believe. And we got my big Frodo Awakens set from Lego Mocklock over here. Highly detailed. 
with, of course, the statue over here, some archways, and then the awesome roof, uh, which you can also lift off. If we're going to look in the interior before the exterior, you can see we have Frodo awakened. So we have Frodo over there laying on his bed, Gandalf over here sitting on his chair, and then a bookshelf over here in the back. Pretty nice. And the staircase also is really detailed with these awesome rock pieces and integrated into the sides of the rock work. Looking at the front of the bill, I have Arwen over here and Lord Elrond, of course, of the Third Age. We've got some nice plants and such over here sticking out. And this set really is awesome. You can see that Lego Maklok has put a lot of detail into it. And I'm pretty happy to own it. And then we're going to move down to another part of the Fellowship of the Ring, which is the Mines of Moria. And I actually got my first big army over here, which is my Moria Orc army. As you can see, you got some Moria Orcs. Running into Baldin's tomb over here, we got some orcs who've been shut down by Legolas and of course Aragorn. Then we got the cave troll, he actually broke a little bit of the gate over there as you can see. And we got some orcs just uh, really rampaging on the fellowship. And the only thing I would love to have in seen in this set is the helmet for the Moria orcs. They had the design in the Lego Lord of the Rings video game, but they never added it, which is truly a shame. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the figures nonetheless uh, that Lego made them. And we got the entire fellowship over here. I tried to set them up as accurately as possible. So we got Gimli, Boromir, Legolas, Aragorn, Gandalf, Merry, Pippin, Sam, Frodo, and a lot of skeletons over here. I actually added some of the helmets from Gimli uh, uh, well, I have a lot of Gimli's in my collection, so I added those over here to this set. So yeah, pretty nice, nice battle over here, as you can see with all of those orcs, as Gollum would say. And let me know if you uh, have spot Gollum so far over here in my mock in the comment section down below. Well, it isn't actually my mock. I just added some orcs. And over here we got Isengard, of course, the Tower of Orthanc, the arrival of Gandalf, and of course, Saruman over here. We got the amazing tower set over here with Gandalf on top, flying away on his eagle. Pretty amazing scene, as you can see. So we covered a lot of sets already, and we're going to go into the pits of Isengard, where we actually got a lot of stuff. So over here I got my original... Orc Forge, and this is just the original set without any modifications. And over here, I actually raised my second set, so it's it's a bit larger. I also added a lot of stairs over here, as you can see. It really wasn't that hard, but it's pretty sturdy uh, thus far, so that's pretty cool. And I added this little bridge over here with uh, some of those bendable pieces, as you can see. Pretty amazing bridge. I'm really proud of what I created with the pieces which I have in my collection. So yeah, that's a bridge over here. And you gotta be too, uh, you gotta be careful as a mortar orc walking over this bridge because this piece can just fall off and you can just fall between the bridge, which is quite a nice function uh, to say so myself. And I actually kept the function over here intact. You can uh, still uh, reached a little stove over here and put it over there on the fire. And over here we got tree beard, of course, pretty nice big buildable fig, and then a mortar orc over here trying to shoot him. Now we're gonna go to a really cool scene. We got some mortar orcs over here forging some weaponry, a sword over here and a shield right over here. So pretty cool. And I had some supports for the bridge over here, as you can see, pretty awesome as well. They were bendable, so that really made it look pretty accurate. And then over here to the pits of the Yurikai. These mortar orcs are actually just digging over here. As you can see, we got a newborn Yurikai. And then they're, they're just in their uniform over here. They're adding some paint to their face. As you can see, that's a pretty cool scene. And this mortar orc is adding some of the breastplates to the Yurikai to put them in their full armor for the Battle of Helm's Deep. And next up, 
we got Immortal Orc adding some Yurikai helmets over here to my Yurikai. And then they're going to go to the armory over here and just, well, grab some weapons and such. And over here is the custom slash fake Yurikai commander. Uh, every other Yurikai is 100% Lego. I got them from the battle uh, packs or uh, poly bags, my apologies. Uh, I got a comment that my all my Yurikai are, are fake. They are not. I paid like r around $800 for them. So don't accuse me of that. That's not cool. However, I did add a fake helmet to this Berserker. Uh, the minifigure itself is 100% uh, Lego. I got 13 of these uh, from a local seller back in 2000. And I don't really recall what year it is. I believe it was 2015 or something. And back then these minifigures weren't even, uh, they weren't even made in, in fake Lego. Uh, so yeah. Don't accuse me of that, not cool. Every figure is real, except for these Yurikai Commanders. And of course, the helmet on the Yurikai Berserker, but the figure itself is 100% Lego. And then if we're gonna look at the interior of the Tower of Orthanc real quick, we got Saruman's Trophy Room, we got a little map room over here with some paintings of wizards. We got Grima Wormtongue over here with a potion room of Saruman, where are you, of course makes the bomb that we got the planter room the entry room and the dungeon over here and a set which really isn't uh, that necessary they uh, actually include this twice in the theme we got ceremon's throw room and again ceremon's throwing room uh, so why i don't know but it really was unnecessary so if you hear me lego don't ever do this again if you're going to restart the lego lord of the rings theme and over here we got my Battle of Helms Deep set. And I actually made a couple of custom modifications back in the day. I raised these walls and I actually extended this one uh, till over here. Never quite finished uh, well, customizing my Helms Deep. And then this wall also is raised. And the one in the middle, as you can see, is uh, two times higher than the original one. I really wanted to have a better Helms Deep back in the day to play with. And I eventually made it. So that's pretty cool. I actually played with this every day, just doing the Battle of Helm's Deep uh, battle with all of those minifigures and just letting the Yurikai march, uh, replacing every figure every time. That was just amazing. Well, I'm going to look at the inside of my fortress real quick. We got King Theoden over here without his armor, uh, another Aomer over here. We got a weaponry room over here. I decided to remove the throne room because it wasn't that accurate. So I added this little storage weaponry room. And then I got this little bridge over here integrated into the wall, just like the movie. Pretty well proud of that. And then we got a Rohan soldier walking over the bridge. And over here, this is all just the same. I never really understood why LEGO created this slope over here. It really was annoying because you couldn't pose any minifigures on it. Uh, but when I'm going to get the uh, well, UCS collection Helm's Deep from LEGO Mock Lock, I will certainly make sure that I can put some minifigures over there and uh, well, uh, set up some awesome seats. But you can see two Rohan soldiers over there fighting off the Yurikai. Pretty amazing. And then if we're going to look over here, I actually don't know where my ladders are uh, for this, uh, well, uh, tower, the watchtower, of course. So those are missing. I don't know where I left them. This piece also here is raised up to, uh, from the ground. We got some extra plates over here. I actually put the Eureka army set over here with a ladder. So it leads up to the higher wall. And then we got the original Helm's Deep exploding wall and another modified Yurikai army piece which I actually made uh, so it looks just like let me remove the ladder here just like a regular part of the wall without that uh, a sort of towery piece which really wasn't that accurate to put on the left side of the wall uh, instead they should have just 
included this piece in the Helm's Deep set also and just made a regular wall piece. But I, I understand that it would have been really boring to just look at a regular wall piece uh, for kids anyways. But yeah, if we're going to look at my forces over here in Helm's Deep, we got my Rohan army over here, throw him some spears. And then over here on the wall, we got some Yurikai fighting off Rohan. And actually, an unfortunate soldier is being thrown into the battle over here. Pretty unfortunate for him. We got some Rohan soldiers and actually got a big Yurikai ladder over here. Made it twice the size, so you can fit two rows of Yurikai on this, just like in the movie. Actually, want to create bigger ones when I get the UCS collection Helm's Deep. That card is also on the top right corner of the screen. But yeah, over here I got my battling ram, uh, actually created by Dr. Brick Daddy. And let me know if you know anything about Dr. Brick Daddy's appearance. I really was a big a fan of him back in the day. He just suddenly disappeared, and I really love this build of him. So if you are ever watching this, Dr. Brick Daddy, I've been using this since uh, your video released. So. Be proud of that. So we got the Rohan soldiers over here fighting off the battling ram. Some uh, crossbow guys over here. And a lot of swordsmen also storming the Hornburg. We got this ballista polybag uh, piece. I actually got 111 of these uh, official Lego polybags. So that's why I have so many of those Yurikai with those spears or pikes. And then... Over here, we got three ballistas, so this one just fired and uh, raised the ladder. We got another one here, another one being uh, readied over there. And we got all my Yurikai. I got 181 of these regular Yurikai minifigures. Then I got 13 of these Berserkers and a lot more commanders. But the only one I'm having is right here because I don't want to mix it up a lot. I just want to show you the Lego figures at this moment. Then of course we got my custom ladder over here with the Berserker who is actually attacking the wall first. So as you can see this is just a regular ladder. Uh, really not that hard to build but if you want me to do a tutorial of course please let me know. I can build any ladder you would like. But yeah Gimli is just attacking those Yurikai over here to Yurikai attacking him. Then we got Legolas over here trying to shoot at the Yurikai Berserker who's going to ignite these two bombs over here. Also being brought by the Yurikai Berserkers. They actually have different helmets in the movie, uh, so I don't have those yet. But if I'm ever going to be able to obtain them, I will certainly show them in my Battle of Helm's Deep UCS collection in the future. Then we got Aragorn fighting off the Yurikai Haldir and of course some Yurikai climbing over here. Got some Rohan soldiers and of course Gandalf the White. Then we got the Corse airship over here with some ghost soldiers. Really need to build, well, expand my ghost army. That's really on my to-do list for the Lego Lord of the Rings. And then over here we got Shelob attacks, that little set over here. Pretty cool, we got some rock work over there. But yeah, I definitely love playing with this spider back in the day. Then we got the Black Gate over here with a lot of eagles flying over it. And then Aragorn, of course, beheading the mouth of Sauron and some mortar orcs marching out of the Black Gate. I've got actually 30, 38 of them, so pretty cool. And also a cave troll, my second cave troll opening the Black Gate. And as you can see, it's just, uh, well, four Black Gate sets. I actually don't have one of the gates over here. Got that over there underneath in my shelf but four towers it really was a, an awesome build back in the day with which i played a lot but yeah this is my entire lego the lord of the rings collection so it consists of a lot of sets and over 500 minifigures which i'm proud of i never believed that i would get so many yurikai or even mortar orcs back in the day and I just well, collected them uh, gradually over the years. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I got here. As you can see, it is quite a nice view to look at all of these sets and minifigures. 
together in uh, Middle Earth over here. And I tried to set up the sets as accurate as possible, uh, accurate to the Lord of the Rings Middle Earth map, of course. Uh, it isn't really that accurate, but this is what I could do with the space I had. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed watching my entire LEGO The Lord of the Rings collection. If you want to see a LEGO The Hobbit collection from those sets over there, let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, if you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up and go subscribe to Brickly and ring that notification bell to stay updated on when I post something. And I'll see you all in the next video.